Ohio Farm Bureau presents the Agricultural Communicator Award to Gary Jackson. Gary's family roots are in agriculture. He was raised on a small farm near Ada and is a graduate of Ohio Northern University. He began his career in radio at WKTN in Kenton as new sports director and began his agricultural broadcasting career in 1977 at WRFE where he was assistant farm director. Along the way, he worked for Producers Livestock Association as Director of Information and Education, WIMA in Lima as Farm Director, ABM as Farm News Director. He currently is with In Ohio Country Today as co-host and in sales. In Ohio Country Today is a weekly statewide award-winning television show featuring Ohio farmers and showcasing agricultural life and business in the Buckeye State. Throughout his career, Gary always worked to provide Ohio farmers with useful information and his, has been an advocate for the agricultural community. He has also been an unwavering supporter of Ohio Farm Bureau by attending our events, reporting our news, and otherwise making his airtime available to our organization. He is a past member of county and state OSU Extension Advisory Committees, most of the state commodity groups, and a past member of the Ohio Council of Farmer Cooperatives. As chair of the organization's promotions committee, he led the effort for Ohio, winning the National Cooperator Cooperative of the Year two years in a row. Ohio had never won before, and no state had ever won twice. He's received communication awards from Ohio Farmers Union, the Centennial Award from OSU Extension State Advisory Committee, APHIS certification as a U.S. Livestock Industry Emergency Response Communicator, and in 2010 received the award from the National Association of Farm Broadcasters for Best National Farm Newscast. Gary is involved in his community through United Way, Ohio Northern University Public Relations Committee, as a coach of various youth sports programs, and is a member of the United Church of Christ. Gary said he can find success this way. The people we come in contact with through life may number in the hundreds of thousands, but only a very few make us aspire to be better than we already are. True success is so, is so simple, yet so challenging. Be true to your God, be true to yourself, and be a blessing to those around you. Gary, thank you for your service to agriculture and Ohio's farmers. Would you please stand and be recognized?
you needed to interact with the listener and get that listener's attention. It did it better than almost anyone. I followed Bob Ziegler in Lima, and from Bob I tried to take the fact that you could be an individual. Now, Bob could be a character at times, and a, and a pretty big character. At the same time, he was always an individual, uh, being a professional along the way. The person who called me from the Farm Bureau to tell me that I had received this award was someone that I consider a friend from, from the time I first met him when he was in high school, when I was in Kenton, and we were doing play-by-play -play and color together of high school football and basketball games. And I thought it was very fitting that Joe Cornelius was the one to call me because after I left Kenton, and Joe had gone to Bowling Green. When I went to WRFD, it wasn't long until Joe had the job in Kenton that I was doing. When I left WRFD to go to Producers Livestock, it was just a few weeks before, Joe called me to tell me that he had a job at WRFD. But it wasn't long before Joe had gone to WLW, and from there, Joe climbed the, the ladder of success, and I'm so proud of his accomplishments. I was going to say I didn't have much to do with that, but I was thinking back, and there was a time when Farm Bureau was selling WRFD to Salem Media. At that time, they didn't have a full-time farm broadcaster. So Sam Cashman of Farm Bureau talked with Gary Hiller at Producers Livestock, and Gary loaned me out for about three hours each day to do the midday show. And while I was there, I was privy to a little bit of information <laughs> that I shared with my friend, Joe Corneli, and hopefully that had something to do with him getting the job and coming back to Central Ohio. You know, along the way, I got the opportunity to, I guess, develop some heroes. And in the field of broadcasting, one of my heroes was Walter Cronkite, but only after he retired. I was very surprised after he retired listening to some of his speeches and some of his writings, reading some of his writings, that he was very, uh, he was very politically skewed in one direction, but that never came across in his broadcasting. And, and for that, he's, he's truly a hero. I always try in my reporting of the news to give just the facts. I have respect for the listener and for the viewer that you can make up your own mind if I gave you all the facts. I remember 20, 25 years ago going to Washington with one of the four groups from Ohio that I, I went with as they were lobbying Congress, the House, and the Senate on various issues. And as we were waiting to get into one congressman's office, a couple of members of this organization were talking about how they were going to impress the congressman with uh, some of their arguments about a particular issue. They turned to me and they said, Gary, what do you feel about this? And I told them that, well, if I'm doing my job, you'll never know what I'm thinking about a particular issue. So that's, that's how I tried to do the news, just get the facts. And, and take what I could gather from some of the farm broadcasters that, that I follow, or I, I follow them. I want to thank those in this room, many of whom were so generous of your time over the years, allowing me to interview you some days when I knew that you didn't really have the time, but you were so generous to, to volunteer that time. And for those of you that I waved at when I was sitting there for the remote broadcast, and who I was supposed to have as a guest interview hadn't been able to show up, and I would wave and motion for you to come over and you'd sit down, thank you very much too. So, in closing, I would just like to say thanks to the Ohio Farm Bureau, and as Forrest Gump says, that's all I'm going to say about that. I would like to say we have a, a big day coming up in a couple of days, so in closing, I'd just like to say, Oh, wait! All right.